Danny Phantom is trending on Twitter because cosplayers made this into a cosplay issue. I didn't know that dressing up as a character once made me a cosplayer, and then for y'all to be referring to me as that black boy is sick. This is going to be very left and racist in this point. Again, lift the I'm black card. Stop using it. Yesterday, I found this tweet. Um, from Dylan Davis, or as he's known on Twitter, Dylan Davy. And he made another stupid tweet about about uh, Danny, Danny Phantom. And he continued again to use the black card. Some people come after him. Like Brent. Like Brandon Hilton, who says, Dude, you heard the one that started this and made it about the color of your skin when he didn't even copy you in the first place. And then he proceeds to block him. Yes. And Brandon tweeted back, Truth hurts, in all caps. Which I would say. If you're going to block somebody for, you know, being right, that you shouldn't complain over a, char a character that you obviously don't own, which belongs to everybody, and then you the one that needs to read the room. And as for this person, she called him out by saying, in the cosplay community, people who are new to it make claims, make claims stuff get stolen because of pose, etc. But in reality, it's just uh, referring to, referring the same source material pick up cosplay pose etc all the time you didn't invent the pose nor the catchphrase simple a lot of black cosplayers don't like the fact that you pulled the race card wrongfully accusing somebody of an issue that isn't happening in this context Yes, people of color content get stolen, but this ain't one of those times. What causes it creates dismissal towards actual acts of theft of black creators. From people who can't tell the difference between two creators using the same source, source material and theft of an original design or concept. But also isn't okay is instead of you listening to others, you call them coons or racists. Creating unnecessary racial tensions when there isn't one to begin with. And falsely accusing people of acts of racism hurts the cause. <coughs> instead of blocking fellow black creators and calling us coons, listen. You're wrong in this situation. You look good. Don't let your ignorance ruin it. Exactly. And if he's not going to accept that he doesn't own the idea of Danny Phantom, which has happened a long time ago before he even started, then he needs to read the room and rethink the way he does things.
I found this tweet from Rex Stinky, which tweeted out a screenshot of the tweet that Dila Fenton is, refl- is replying to, which says, I'm sorry, but I really don't think that this is a case of stolen art, and to pretend it is just it is just out of their minds actual instances of bad creatives being ripped off. Danny Phantom is an extremely popular character to cosplay. The makeup and execution are entirely different, exactly. But then he types and right he types this by saying you look and sound like a old coon and then he replied What does this prove, babes? Do you know the meaning of that word? Well, if we type in coon, On Urban Dictionary, Dictionary, it says an insulting term used by both races. When used by whites, it, it translates to N-I-G-G-E-R. When used by blacks, it's describing an Uncle Lucas type character. And they brought race into the whole issue, just accept that Danny Phantom is a popular character and dressing up exactly like him for a costume is normal. Handsome my nephew, because he dressed up as Danny Phantom this year for Halloween, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake, yes, exactly. What? I mean, really. Let's not cancel people for wearing a costume. And if you're going to cancel them for that, you are the problem, Dylan Davis. It proves that protect black creatives don't go out the window once a black woman creator says something you don't want to hear. For someone who has that has read the read quote unquote read the room in their in their name, he most definitely def not read reading the room. She she respectfully said why they think you were wrong for this and you called him a coon, really? Just cause they didn't tell you what you wanted to hear? See, people like this are smart enough to know that if you're going to attack someone over a costume that you, once again, don't own or wasn't your original idea in the first place since it was used by everybody before you, then you are the problem. Not them. You. I know enough about racist South slash Appalachian slang to know it was wildly inappropriate. Then he replies that it's also a word used for a person who is a seller in a in the black community. Don't try to flip this on me. <laughs> Dylan. You're the one that's still not reading the room. Jericho says, listen to your Twitter name. Yeah. Listen. We got another person who 
is a fan of this douchebag. No offense, but he is. There's a lot of white people over speaking on Dylan Davies' page, and I don't like that. Yeah, because a lot of white people, such as myself, a black commentary YouTuber, call him out for, you know, for, for the Danny Fan cosplay that he currently, clearly, was doing. And he thinks that he owns the cosplay idea. Nobody owns the Denny Fenton cosplay idea or costume. Especially because everyone wasn't activist five months ago, please. Well, we're not talking about activists right now. We're talking about people who don't understand that that he does not own, once again, he does not own the the Danny Phantom cosplay. If you were really a fan of the show, then you would know that lots of fans dress up as the as the main character. When they go to events, especially like next year, next year of, or unfortunately because of COVID, that people like Cole would dress up as Danny Phantom, which he did not stole Dylan's idea, by the way. And if you can't read the room because other black cosplayers called you out and you're, and you're not really listening or reading the room, then you can't be the one talking. This person tweeted other black creators and cosplayers of black cosplayers were pretty vocal about the whole situation and shows all of these tweets. Which says also to those who are agreeing that Mua is copying, quote unquote, copying, have y'all not seen Danny Phantom? As a cosplayer and makeup artist, I can't even see the similarities, even with the makeup. The pose is similar, but all cosplaying by senses be similar bust up. Shigo can be in this dance. And that's the thing. The poses is what Danny Phantom and other characters have done. There's no quote unquote copying here. Exactly. Also the comments are mostly mostly from non cosplayers saying this is a common problem in the cosplay community, but it really isn't. I mean no shit. Only one cosplayer ever may replicate official art or signature poses and may really insulted a black creator cosplayer Riggy and sharing her thoughts. Yeah. <clears throat> if Dylan really wanted to read the room, then he needs to work on reading the room. It's just simple. And yeah, 
There we go. Deleted the insulting tweet and used the weak defense. We reached a full diva status. Exactly. The reaching ex is insane and ridiculous. And if you don't want white people commenting or getting into black business, then don't post such a crybaby as post that you know will gain attention from all races because it's wrong on so many levels. Facts. And Lauren B. Brown, if you think he's over speaking, how about you try again? And understand what Dylan Davis is actually doing because he's not really doing any justice to, <clears throat> you know, protect his opinion when he is clearly in the wrong and cannot admit it. He cannot admit it. And then Brick. Biddy Boss made a stupid response. <clears throat> Coles will we need to apologize for stealing work about credit and promote Dylan Davy on your story for the next month at least for this bullshit. You have over 340k followers. You could have helped a creator grow their audience and you choose to steal rectify this shit colonizer. <sighs> Listen Bitty boss, I'm going to explain the same thing to you too. Dylan Davis does not own the Danny Phantom costume or cosplay in general. He does not own the idea. This began long before Dylan Davis even started this. Cole replied, I need to steal shit, and I'm not apologizing for anything. Don Davis replied, bro, stop including me in your responses to everyone else. You know exactly what you're doing. Let it go. How about you let go, Don Davy? Because you're the one who's clearly begging for an apology. I mean, you're not letting go by replying to him either, so. Like, he says, bro, you're the one adding me. Uh -huh. Aren't you the one talking nonsense after I proved you wrong? Yikes. But get what you needed, sis. I mean, come on. If Dylan Davis, once again, doesn't read the room, I really don't know what to expect. As to why Dylan Davis has... As to why Dylan Davis has fans who love and support him for whatever he says. But what are you saying about Danny Phantom again is just... Completely and utterly stupid. Don't apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. This this person at Trinite says, Last time I checked, Denny Phantom is a character anyone can cosplay. Exactly. Sometimes I don't understand how people who are in the beauty community are most likely mentally deranged for not reading the room. And Dylan Davy is just one of them. It's so disappointing to see people like this who won't accept the fact that you do not invented that. 
Simone Lee Kid replied, Girl, I hate when girls talk like you all over the internet, talking all loud. You're dev not going to going to have this energy when you see them in person just own up to your shit and move on. It's not hard. Did this person replied, how did Cole steal the look though? We kept we keep asking and all we get is this is black people problems. Go away. And that's a really stupid racist way to deal with this. Once again, another smart person who knows that hey that that a Danny Phantom cosplay is not a racial issue. Cole replied to Dylan saying the only similarity is our post and captioned which is Danny Statline and signature post. I this outfit made for me back in July for my T for my TV show. This could have easily been resolved in DMs you killed the look. Here's clear proof when I reached out to my des designer for the outfit. And you know, he, he texted his designer this. The the character, the main character of the show. I mean, come on. If Dylan Davis isn't going to get mad over call for being right about, about as to why everybody uses the costume, and if you're not waking up, then clearly, once again, you are the problem. I'm sorry for repeating this in the entire video today, but it is true. Dylan Davis is the problem with our society, and as a black man, I do not claim him or prove of his actions. He needs to man up and fucking apologize, because he's just embarrassing himself at this point. Pose and captions matter. Don't be dancing. I mean, you were very, you were at the very least, very least inspired by his work because it's more than just inspiration, more like emulation. I would have him tag him, but this look was planned and done months prior to him posting it. I'm not going to lie and say I was expired when I wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't expired by Dylan Davey. This was planned months ago. And then she replied with the with an annoying response. You seriously need to take a break and reflect on the situation in lieu of just being defensive because this image is immature. I wish you broke in your understanding of integrity. Take care. Uh, Cole has a lot more integrity than Dylan Davis. I'm sorry, but it is the truth. Because if 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 I was Dylan Davis and if I if, if I call out call this world for wearing a costume along with makeup that. Joan Davy certainly doesn't own. Then, once again, he's the one with the problem. I mean, come on. Last time I have to say this. And here you are still using half. And here you are still dragging the situation on that 
never happened in the first place. Why you have been 24 hours on all platforms? I've already proven that I didn't steal anything from you, yet here you are. With a laughing emoji. Yeah, because you, because you're extremely microaggressive. I'm so happy that you proved whatever you need to prove. Need to prove, Almedo. How are you gonna call some call them um, microaggressive when you're literally out here referring to someone who called you out as a coon? Also, they're out here proving their innocence since you started this shit first. Yeah, Dylan. Like seriously, this is why. This is why beauty girls like you cannot be taken seriously. And once again, as a black man, we really don't claim you. We don't. Since you continue to abuse the racist card on people, it's clearly not going to work for you in the future. And since you're a small creator with a few subscribers, and you're not going to acknowledge and accept the fact that a lot of people have used this cosplay right before you. And you're not going to like understand where everyone's coming from because they're actual fans of the show. And then, once again, clearly you are the problem, not Cole. Can you at least acknowledge it and move on? Because you probably can't. And if you can't, that is sad. The client pants his head, replies, Can you please give credit to guy who did Danny Phantom body paint before since you were? Making stone cosplay ideas such a big deal? Exactly. This whole thing that Dylan Davis is doing is just wrong. Damn, Dylan, why do you block this person for telling the truth? I saw this body thing too, though I th thought I was the only one. Credit him, Dylan. It's the right thing. I mean, come on. Dylan Davis is not waking up. And he's still blocking people. I mean, this is how entitled Dylan Davis is. You're entitled to spoil Brad for blocking people when they when they told the truth. I mean, seriously. It is so repetitive that Dylan Davis wants to be right because he claims he owns the idea when in fact he didn't. At the end of the day, everyone does the cosplay. It's not exactly copying. And Dylan Davis, if you're seeing this video too, which will be uploaded just about now, just accept that you're wrong and move on because and once again, you did not start this idea in the first place. It happened decade a decade ago. Realize that and read the room, please. For a guy who has 993 subscribers and only four videos and has not uploaded in like over a year, take care take your irrelevant ass out of here. Like, come on. Come on, man. Take your email and ass out here 
and take accountability for your actions because your actions are most definitely in the wrong. Be the responsible one and apologize for thinking that you you think someone stole your idea when they clearly haven't. How about you search up Denny Phantom cosplay or Denny Phantom costume in general and see the differences that people have made right before you. It's certainly not hard. <laughs>